10. 10. By 2020. Ten by 2020. It's our passion and heart for disciple making, fulfilling the Great Commission as evangelical friends being faithful to this call. Will you join us? One of the concerns that we sometimes have about church planning is we wonder why would we ever plant a church when we have so many existing churches that are not healthy and could use the help. Some people say, Pastor, there are already plenty of churches here already. They're reaching out and doing their thing. Does God want us to plant churches? Yes, He does. Does God want to win people for Christ? Yes, He does. We need to be planting churches because we are called by God to just be expanding His kingdom. And we often see missionaries going overseas, but we are missionaries wherever we are at. So we need to be doing it here in Ohio. But statistically, we see that brand new churches, they reach so many more than established churches. And it takes less energy to do so. We have a movement that we can really believe in as evangelical friends, continuing in the Christian faith. And one of the things that we really believe as pastors is that as we plant new churches that are our thriving, healthy congregations, we believe that that will only serve to help reinforce and uh, the mother churches to make us more healthy. The other thought of planting churches is that uh, you know we could fill all the churches in this area many times over and still not have enough room for the people that live in this community. There are so many lives that uh, can be touched and we're just looking for new opportunities, new ways to uh, reach these folks. And uh, we just believe that planting churches is that, it's that responsibility for us as uh, evangelical friends. Welcome to Grove City, Ohio. This is one of the growing sections in all of the greater metropolitan Columbus area. All that you see behind me didn't exist uh, just over five years ago, or under five years ago even. Uh, and they're still building all around. Uh, there's developments, and quite honestly, within a, about a mile, two mile radius of this, where we're staying at right now, there's not even a church. We're sitting here in Pickerington, a suburb on the east side of Columbus, and I'm wondering, could this be a place where we plant a church? Pickerington, Ohio. There are so many people that need to hear the message of Jesus Christ to fulfill the Great Commission. Could it be Worthington, Ohio? Welcome to Easton, a place where thousands of people come to shop, they work here, and they live here. It's a self-contained community. Can you see a church here? Here we are in Sunbury. It's a community that's been growing for uh, at least the last 10 years. And uh, could God build a church here? Would this be a community? that he would want to uh, release his spirit upon. And for all of us to say, here am I, send me. Is there somebody today that would say, here am I, send me to this campus. Here am I, send me to these students. Here am I, send me to this world that we can reach for Christ from this campus area. Just this direction, Clintonville, that way, Dublin, you have Upper Arlington, even up into Powell. Standing here in Hilliard, Ohio, and I have wondered for years if, if God might allow us to plant a church here in Hilliard. And I'm still wondering, could this be one of the places that we'll plant a church by 2020? So you've heard this, 10 by 2020. How can you become involved? How do you get engaged? How to become active? Uh, really three ways. Number one, you can pray. Pray with us. To pray uh, for the kingdom of God to come, come upon these areas, to give wisdom, guidance. We must pray in order to get involved. The second area is for us to give financially. It's going to take some financial support. In order to pull this off, we need the resources necessary to start these new churches within Central Ohio. And so being generous givers, 
and helping people to be uh, supported to do this work. And the last area is maybe God is calling you to serve. It could be serving in simple ways, stuffing envelopes, or helping go door to door in a community in order to share about what's going on, even though you may not be attending that church. But that's another way of serving, is maybe God is calling you to be part of the church plant, uh, wherever we would have uh, the 10 churches in the next uh, 10 years. Or maybe He's calling you to be that church planter. Has He called you to step up and be, become a catalyst, maybe a pastor, for one of these churches? 10. 10. By 2020. 10 by 2020. When we come together as a district, we can do so much more than what we can individually. And isn't that really what it's about? Is the spirit of generosity and the spirit of unity together in kingdom building mindset? That's fulfilling and, and uh, it's filling the Great Commission as, as Jesus commanded us to do. Pull our resources together in order to reach as many people for Christ as possible. Ten churches by the year 2020.